they ask me lah, what uh, what's my age? Then I will tell them, and then they like, wah, you can do ah. For me, I don't think uh trauma cleaning. Not many people know is because like you know like normal people like you all like will think like it will be done by the police. Yeah, uh, but it's actually like family or maybe the police will request to call the trauma cleaners and all. You know when elderly people uh they live alone and then after that maybe there's like some incident or what right people don't know. Like, you know the body will uh decompose. That's when the neighbor will like start complaining, and then that's when the police will call uh the disease family lah, and then that's for, uh, that's when they will call us to clean it after the clearance from the police lah. I'll clean off the blood, and then the body fluids, and then. Our, you know, we was expect to see like maggots, hair, skin, nails. When the body decomposes, right, your blood will like come up from like your, like every part of your body, which has hair fall out, maybe your ear, your nose, and then you know the fly will start coming inside. That's when the maggots will have fall in cockroaches. Yeah. So when did you start to this? So um, I started when I was um fifteen. It was. Two years back, yeah. and I remember it was in the afternoon. It was a last minute job, and then my father didn't have like um, workers. So I that's when I offered myself like to help my father. He's like, really, ah, you want to work? Ah? You want to do the trauma cleaning? Ah? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to do. I'm very curious. And then it's like, oh, okay, lah, like, they have no choice, right? So when I went there, and then after that, I was like. Shocked lah like, to see like a lot of blood like that. Then someone got a lot of maggot. Then you know, I stood there like, like you know, like very shocked lah. Like. My father tapped me. It's like, be professional because the uh, the deceased family was there. Yeah, after that, my father said, uh, I think the equipment not enough. You know, I need to go and buy. I was like, oh, oh no, I need to stay by myself. And then, then you know, he leave me for like one hour. You know, I was like. Okay lah, I can do this, you know. <laughs> then you know, my father come back and then he said he was like shocked lah. He was like halfway done. That's how I became a accidental trauma cleaner at fifteen. What was the most disturbing case you handled? I think it would be the murder case. It's like when you're there, right? Cause you can see the blood, all right. Then after that, you know, you can imagine how the how it started. Cause it started from the master bedroom. I think it's from the bed. Cause I think the person get stabbed by the on the bed first. Cause the bed, and then after that, on on the floor, and then it was uh drag uh all the way to the hallway, and then after that at the dining area, uh kitchen, and then the last place I think was um the service yard, yeah. Uh, and the service yard was like full of blood. You know, it's like fresh, fresh blood. You know, it's not like decomposed uh, body fluid. Oh, no. Can you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's one case that um after doing the uh cleaning, right? You know, I need to find place to clean the equipment, right? And then I was like, oh shit, the toilet is like full of boxes, full of clothes. Cannot go inside at all. You know, it was like blo blocking the walkway. So in the end, we need to throw all the equipments. How do you think you have helped like the deceased family? You know when the first time I came, they are like, they are like shocked lah. Um, uh, I'm a girl, and they are, they ask me lah, what uh, what's my age? Then I would tell them, and then they like, wow, oh, you can do ah. And it's like yeah. Then you know after the job, really can see you know from their face, their expression, can see like they are very satisfied with the job that is done by me and my father. Yeah. So last time it's like once a month or maybe like two months like. Got two cases like that. Then now it's like every week ah, every week got cases. Like tomorrow also we got cases. Yeah. Do your friends know about your job? Yeah, I didn't know about my job. I will show them lah the photo. Ah, uh, my friend, he was uh, also curious lah. So he asked me to ask my father if he can join for the next trauma cleaning lah. Then my father said can. Then after he help out for I think two or. Two to three times, I think. He's like he cannot tahan lah. It's very hot lah. Very hot. The boys are they sweat a lot, you know. Some also ask me, then but then they also don't dare to do. Uh, for the girls, they ask me like, you know, you know, like um, disgusted me. That's like disgusted lah, but like okay lah, not like you stay already like normal lah. 
Then you know they will ask me is there maggot, is there cockroaches? So I said, yeah lah, got maggot, cockroaches, but protected what with PPE, but like not scared lah like that. So they are surprised that I can do this job. Then that time I need to meet up, you know, with them. Like it was like right after the trauma cleaning. Then we need to go, we go makan, watch movie, alright. Uh, they ask me, eh, you already shower? Ah? Then you know, I was like, yeah lah, obviously lah, I already shower. And then you know, they, they really need to double confirm. They like, really, I shower already. Ah. The disease, um, Neighbors, right? They were like, you no, know, first time they see us, right? No, when PPA, they are like, okay, lah. Then after, after we wear our PPA, all, they were like, oh, I just close the door. They will talk to us, like, but like from far, yeah. But then some of them are like, okay, lah, because they know what happened, right? It doesn't, it doesn't disturb me, lah. How were your relatives' reaction when they first learned about you doing what you're doing? They know that my father do, but then after that, when they saw my uh, my father video, uh, then they saw me inside. They that's when they know, lah. I, I do the trauma cleaning. Like, then they all shocked like I do this. They like, wow, Kashina, you can really do this. Uh, if I cannot, they are proud like, that I know how to do, do the things that they don't know how to do lah. Like. Yeah. If it was not for this, what do you want to do? I would be like still drawing, and then maybe like back up on my back up on my makeup skills. I want to be a makeup artist for BTS. That was my dream, you know. Are you worried that you might have troubles looking for a partner in the future because of what you do? Ah, uh, honestly, no. If they like me, they like me. If they don't like me, they are problem. Uh. <laughs> this is what I do, right? I will convince them, lah. Uh. Yeah. I learned like you must treasure life, right? You might, you may have like a lot of things you want to do in the future, right? but you won't know when your uh, time is up. Most of the time, I am at home. Yeah, like, I, mean, I do go out and then like, you know what time I come back at 6 o'clock and then I stay in school shirt. And then, you know, my father will school me. Then after that, I will do the same thing. But I think now after I do this job, right, I stay at home quite a lot. Lah. Uh, because I love my family and I need to help to take care of them. Lah. Yeah.